Bashir asked me to talk about longevity and how a company stays around as long as it is. I think everyone here knows, you know, if you go back 10, 15 years, the companies that were the top 50 companies uh, in business, maybe 10% maybe or 20% of them are left. So what I wanted to do is really quickly take you through why I think, uh, what are the characteristics for us that we've been around for 150 years as we go through. And, and as you can see up here, integrity, de dedication, integration, innovation and sustainability are the topics that I, I believe are the reasons that we've been able to uh, survive as long as we have. And when you think about R.R. Donnelly, remember, 150 years, we talk about Clay Christensen today and the technology disruption that's going on. This company survived the telephone, the telegraph, the radio, the TV, the web, and now we're surviving these electronic readers and evolving at each time. So there's a DNA that's there that I'm fortunate enough to, to go ahead and be a part of. But uh, I can only imagine what my predecessor's predecessor and all that management team went through when the, when the TV came out, saying that they were going to be out of business now that print was going away. Print's, you know, Gutenberg's 664 years old this year. Uh, so that's not a long time either, uh, considering uh, it's the year 2114 or 2014. So integrity, as we think about integrity, uh, I think that is, we talked today uh, at, at part why are, why are businesses uh, and customers react the way they do. We talked about reputation. This to me is critical. Uh, if you don't have that as you go through, we talked about acquisitions. And I think it was Mark who mentioned, you know, be honest, be open, be upfront. We do a lot of uh, acquisitions, there's a lot of consolidation. As you go through it, one of our mantras is, look, let's tell everybody. If, you're, if, we, if we already know that we do not believe you're going to be with us as we go forward, tell them as you go through the process. It makes it a lot easier as opposed to trying to go ahead and, and, and spin something else that you know at the bottom line is not going to be the truth. Uh, Donnelly, R. Donnelly, uh, was involved in the great fire of, of uh, 1871. Uh, basically, the insurance did not cover the loss uh, back then, and all he was left with was his raincoat. Uh, the whole business burnt down, went to New York, and based on his integrity, he was able to borrow money and start the business back up uh, from there. Uh, Donnelly's been involved in some very, uh, what I'll call confidential uh, work for customers. Uh, we were the ones who put together all the, what we call now collateral material uh, for when Ford was coming out with the car. Uh, there was secrets that couldn't have been, uh, couldn't get out. Uh, if it did, it would have jeopardized his business. So you go back, think about that. We printed the 9-11 report uh, uh, as obviously that was something that was uh, uh, very confidential in nature and, and very important. Uh, but then we go ahead and we, we'll print uh, magazines that contain pictures of Tom Cruise's new baby. And uh, we have to worry about employees being approached by outsiders to get a copy of the picture. Uh, and to give you an idea there, what happens is people get approached and they, you know, maybe for 10, 20, 50% of their salary, outside influencers are willing to offer money so that they can get that signature and they can go ahead and run it on the internet. And thank goodness we've got a, an employee base that understands that there is no compromise there and we cannot go ahead and go through that. World War II, we printed uh, you know, a lot of the uh, confidential information that went on there for the, for the armed forces and for the government. Uh, going all the way out to the Brazilian uh, education, we are the printers uh, printer for their testing. And as some of you who know for, or who are from Latin America, that is a, uh, a deciding factor from where really you're going to be in life. So if you have the information for that test, uh, you know, that, that is not a level playing field as people go forward. So uh, again, integrity, I think, is one of the reasons why we've been able to endure what we've been able to endure. Dedication, uh, I think all of us are dedicated. I, I don't think anybody in business isn't at this point in time, but I do think it's, it's something that everyone has to have in order to continue to be successful. Uh, we started with the first telephone directory which allowed advertising to take place. So some of you are familiar with R.H. Donnelly going back in the day. R.H. Donnelly was uh, the son of R.R. Donnelly as they went through it. We expanded in 21, we were in one plant, we went to two plants in the state of Illinois in the United States. Uh, we were the ones who started to do a replica or a test case for Sports Illustrated magazine. And then it, it went well, and they decided to go ahead and issue that. Uh, Life magazine, 
John Marr, some of you may know that name, famous photographer, journalism, journalist. Uh, uh, I heard him say, I, I wasn't there, but he was in Paris last week. He's 90, I think he's 93 right now. Uh, but he gave a, uh, a speech to a group, an audience, and, and I had a, a board member that was in the audience, unbeknownst to him, and he talked about the printer. Of He had the famous Vietnam photo, uh, the two photos with the war with the, the, the poor little girl going down the street and then the soldier. Uh, and he raved about how R. R. Donnelly always took his pictures and brought them to life. And for somebody like me sitting where I sit, that's, that's obviously a feel-good uh, when you have somebody of that magnitude who doesn't know who anybody's in the room and going ahead and talking about you. Uh, the Life magazine, some of you may have known this, but when President Kennedy was assassinated, uh, the Life magazine cover was going to be about a fellow by the name of Roger Staubach, who was the famous player from Navy, went on to be a famous NFL football player. And what happened there was the president was assassinated, and Life called us up and said, can you please change the cover? And... Again, this is before uh, digital, it's before electronics really took off, obviously. And uh, we were able to go ahead and, and print the most copies ever in the shortest period of time for life back at that time. Uh, we talked a lot about acquisitions today. Uh, I would tell you, as we go through it, we think about the three C's, I call it. Customer, cost, and capacity. So as you go through what you're doing on a daily basis, uh, you know, we, we talked again today in, uh, in O'Reilly's, Professor O'Reilly's session about ambidextrous uh, organization. We are. I think most of you know as you sit here today, the long run print, what I call magazines, books, catalogs, re directories, retail inserts, that's obviously been in decline, but still a great business for us. And as we go ahead and are trying to continue to evolve the company, we need to pay attention to that business. We need to service our customers great cash flow comes out of that business and allows us to go ahead and fund the evolution that we're going through. 